where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom Okay, so it's a gorgeous day. We are slept, but still tired though. And uh, we're heading to shore. We're gonna go hike around, explore a bit, and then go for a little snorkeling trip. Well, we can't come here and not go for a little swim, so we have kind of walked along the cliff face for a little bit. The boats are right behind us, and we're gonna go for a little snorkel. and surprising um, but we are going to be making our way back to the boat now I'm really glad we did that the wind's starting to pick up now so it's perfect it was perfect timing because it was like really warm <laughs> Troubles in paradise. <laughs> That's what happened. I was going to put my uh, uh, snorkel goggles away and uh, they just leapt off the boat. <laughs> yes, they, they jumped. They, they got up and jumped. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is um, we're in 21 feet of water so Herbie's gonna try to get down there but we'll see. All right, success. And if you notice, I'm not wet. My hair is completely dry. And look, here's my mask. <laughs> Luckily, um, our friend happened to be diving at the very moment that uh, these this item fell in the water, and he just surfaced with it like a little guardian angelfish. <laughs>
started to pick up we're now being blown onto a lee shore so we're getting out of here we're gonna go anchor in san antonio which is uh just around the corner and there we can get diesel and provisions and all that stuff well, maddie's having a bit of an adventure on matt's boat <laughs> yeah so the uh they were unfurling the sail and one of the vertical battens got hooked on on the mast or on the spreaders on the mast now the problem is it's really high up now they can't get the sail further out and more importantly they can't get the sail back in maddie's over there dealing with that i'm just gonna Eat an apple. Well, the pressure on the sail apparently pulled the batten free, and they're now full sail and back to normal. And we're just making our way to windward, and we're going to be coming into San Antonio. for a long time and finally got it so we're very happy. <laughs> We've anchored here in Portonex and it is a beautiful little spot. This is my first experience with a spinnaker pole and I am excited. So we had a little bit of a leak issue. So the anchor wash pump, which is up here, uh, started dripping. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.